Are you looking to replace the filter on your Espro Press, but you don't know what size to get? You don't know how to replace it? You don't know where to get it? Well, we're going to answer all those questions today on FrenchPressCoffee.com. Hi everyone, I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com. Thank you as always for tuning into our virtual coffee shop. And as I said in the intro this, to this video, we're talking about how to replace the filter in your Espro Press. Now I've got three of them in front of me here today, uh, but we're actually only going to primarily be talking about the one on my left and the one in the middle. Now there are different versions of the Espro Press. I've got my 32 ounce here, which has a glass carafe on it, but then here on my 18, of course, I have my stainless steel carafe. You don't need to worry about the type of carafe that you have for your Espro Press. If you're replacing the filter, you just want to pay attention to the inner diameter of your carafe. And I'll note real quickly that on the travel press that I have over here, which is actually my own, I love this thing. This is pretty easy and self-explanatory. If you're looking to replace the filter for it, you're just going to want to get the small one because the small one is the only one that's going to fit into the travel press. So we're going to set that one aside, but it is to note that you can replace the filter for your travel press as well. That's useful because I know I need to replace mine pretty soon as well. Now, let's say that you want to replace your filter, but you don't know what size you need. A quick and easy thing to do is just measure the inner diameter of your carafe. I've got about four inches here on my 32 ouncer, and so that means that I would want to use the filter replacement for the 32 ounce. We'll show you how in just a moment. And then over here on the 18, this guy's brand new. Again, we're looking at the inner diameter, so we're looking at about three and a half inches here. There's a little bit of a beveled edge right here, so it might be a little hard for you to see, but looking at the inner, we're about three and a half inches. So again, you would want to use, in this case, the other size to replace the filter for your Espro Press. How do you replace the filter? Well, let's show you how. I'm going to use my 32 ounce press to show you how to do this because it's glass. You'll be able to see it a little more easily. Now, if you have an older Espro press, you might find that your filter does not have what these new filters have, which is this locking ring right here. That ring makes it really easy to pop it up onto the top filter because Espro presses are double filtered, which is awesome. The micro filtering makes sure that you get a really good filter on your coffee, but the older versions, you just simply would press the bottom half against the top and it would lock in with a rubber seal. This is a little better because that's going to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Have no fear, this will fit onto your older Espro press as well. So why would you want to replace the filter for your Espro Press? Well, simply put, given time, this is going to wear down a little bit. You could continue using it for as long as you'd like. You want to make sure you keep it clean, you want to maintain it, but it's going to get dirty, it's going to wear down a little bit. The rest of your press is likely going to last you for a lifetime as long as you take care of that as well and maybe don't break it. That's important if you've got a glass one. But replacing the filter can be a really good idea in order to make sure that you get the best possible cup of coffee. So this is very easy to do. I'm going to grab the handle of my plunger and then with my other hand I'm going to grab onto the filter and I'm just going to unscrew that. All right, and then once it comes away, you can see right here, just the same, these are actually the same ones, but you can see the difference between an old one and a new one. My new has these brand new, nice and clean silicone rings on the top. My older one has obviously been used a little bit, and these rings have lost a little bit of their, you know, their uh, overall stability, which means that your seal is going to break down. That means that you're going to find that maybe you get a little more grounds into your coffee or something like that. That's another great reason to replace it. This new one is nice and ready to go, but both of them have right inside this uh, section into which you're going to screw your actual shaft of the handle into, and just screw that in. Don't wrench it down too hard. Just get it about finger tight and then you're good to go. And you will notice when you press down now, it's going to be a much tighter seal. So you may need to just move it up and down a little bit. That kind of gets the seal set up. And then of course, it's going to start to settle in as you brew as well. Some folks have been asking us about using paper filters with their Espro Press, and we thought we'd mention that real quickly. I've got some of the Espro paper filters right here. There are varying sizes. I've got the 32, the 18, and then I've got 
for the travel press as well. And in this case, I've got ready to go the 18 ounce versions. And you can use this if you want to super filter your coffee. It's good for being able to pull out a little more of that coffee oil and things along those lines. And it's really easy to use. So I'm going to use the 18 ounce filter right here. And we've just taken this out to show it to you. First of all, I'll just separate the two again by just turning and undoing that seal right there. And then now I will take my 18 ounce filter, center it about on the bottom part of my filter, and then I'm just going to press down. And you'll need to just kind of find the right spot in which it locks, but there you go. I've locked it in now, and you can't even see the filter, as you can see, but that extra filtration will help to filter your coffee even more. So if you're one of those folks who wants to really make sure that you get uh, only the liquid and none of the grounds and maybe cut down on the oil, that's a great way to do it. And again, we've got those filters in 32 ounce, 18 ounce, and the travel version for your Espro Press. On to our next tip, which is maintaining your filter, keeping it clean. As I was mentioning earlier in this video, that is important because you won't have to replace your filter as often, and this is pretty easy to do. Take your filter apart, of course, after you have brewed your coffee. Get yourself a good brush, not a wire brush, something that has some very relatively soft bristles on it, and then you'll want to clean inside of the filter and around on it, get the grounds out, clean the oil out, but over time you'll probably find that you're going to get buildup on these micro filters because this is a very, very, very fine filter. And so as a result, you're gonna get some oil buildup and other debris there. So in that case, we suggest making use of the Espro Deep Clean Powder. This is made specifically for Espro presses and Espro accessories, and that's a really good way to ensure that you keep everything as clean as possible. Make sure you clean your press right after you have used it, after you've finished off the coffee, because doing that will ensure that you get a nice long life out of the filter and your press overall. Another thing that is worth mentioning is that you'll notice I was talking about washing your filter by hand. You're going to want to wash your filters by hand and not put them into your dishwasher. Not because they can't deal with being put into a dishwasher, they can, but you're probably going to taste that dishwasher detergent in some way or another because again those micro filters are pretty much going to catch anything that is in them and that's why we say that it is better to use the deep clean powder from Espro. Now you can put the glass carafe from your Espro press into the dishwasher, but again, be careful because sometimes we pop things in our dishwasher and they do break. Overall, I think it's better to wash everything by hand in order to be careful. Another thing worth mentioning is the folks have been asking us about making use of the Espro T filter with their Espro press, and I've got one of those right here. You can see it's not as tall as the coffee filter, and it's a single filter uh, apparatus as opposed to the double basket that you get with the coffee filter. And this is entirely something that you can do, but it's probably worth mentioning that if you're going to do that, we would suggest getting a second press for that. And the biggest reason for that is that if you are swapping the tea filter out with the coffee filter for your Espro press, you're probably still going to taste a little bit of the coffee because of the swapping back and forth. And that might not give you the best cup of tea. So if you're looking for a good cup of tea, get yourself a second press, get the tea filter for it, and then dedicate that one to tea so you can get the best cup of tea possible as well. So there you have it, everyone. That is how to replace the filter for your Espro Press. That's also some great tips on how to maintain the filter and your Espro Press overall. And of course, how to make use of paper filters, which we hope you found useful. Now, if there's anything we missed, you've got questions, comments, etc., get in touch in the comment section of this video. Make sure to subscribe, share our videos, and visit us at FrenchPressCoffee.com, where you can find all of this coffee gear to add to your at-home coffee shop. As always, everyone, I am Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time, and take care. So did you like that video? If so, why don't you give us a like, maybe subscribe to our channel. And if you do, I'll give you a wonderful coffee quote. It's okay, I'll wait. Go on. Ah, there you go. Thank you very much, and here's the coffee quote. Water is the most essential element in life because without it, you can't make coffee. <laughs>